This is the bumblebee skitty, and it's going to be a present for a son of a friend of mine uh, for Christmas. We'll just turn it on and show how it works. You'll notice the little cover here uh, has a little handle, makes it a little easier to open. And you'll notice the flashing uh, right away. That's part of a battery monitor system, and it flashed three times, so it's about three to five. It will flash up to five times. Got about 60% battery left. Uh, so I'm basically just taking the battery, uh, putting it through a voltage divider, and reading that with the analog to digital converter that's in the ESP. Uh, there's already a port uh, that connects to the ADC and the printed circuit board. So now that it's powered up, I'm going to give a quick little demo. You'll notice I've used uh, some two-color prints here. Uh, both of the arms were put uh, on the 3D printing bed at once, and at certain layers you can just change the uh, color, which makes the lettering really sort of pop. I've made uh, one change to the bucket here. I put a little lip here so that these teeth won't dig under if you're pressing against a backstop. Not what a real skitty has, but... So if we go forward, I can push that up and not have to worry that the teeth are going to go under. Just pick it up. And you'll notice when I back up, the, the flasher light only works when it's backing up. And I've got a 15 RPM motor on there, which is just a little slower. I'm using braking instead of coasting, so when it drops, it won't drop all the way to the ground. These work really well. But you'll find that you'll be repairing them every once in a while. The tires here are rubber tires, and you'll notice that when the skiddy turns, it doesn't hop. It turns fairly smoothly. It's got very good grip. I've got larger tires, but they almost grip too well. Inside, you'll notice here on this model, I've actually soldered all the components right to the printed circuit board without sockets. Now I tested them all first. What it did is it gave me more room inside my skiddy. So I tested the CPU. I found I did have a bad h brid motor driver board. So I, I got two good ones and soldered those in the back. Now with more room, I could more comfortably put in a battery. That's 450 milliamp hours in capacity. These can supply a lot of current at once, 70C uh, times 450. So it's amps and amps of current. Um, what I did was I added a little cable here, extra cable, which has got a seven amp fast blow fuse. You can get these from Little Fuse or AliExpress had them for 10 for uh, $2. Um, but if there's a short on the printed circuit board, uh, this won't uh, cause any type of fire because uh, it went 7 amps, uh, it delivers 7 amps, this uh, little fuse will blow here. So between that and the battery monitor, it should be relatively safe. In the back, I've made uh, just a few mods. As I've mentioned, I used a uh, 15 RPM motor, which unfortunately is quite a bit longer, so you'll see it's the housing is not supported. Uh, which could be a little bit of an issue. But I've made the gears a little uh, stronger here, a little thicker. And you can see those, a couple millimeters. This works really well. Hopefully I can, once the battery uh, goes below seven volts, what will happen is this should shut off and it will start flashing here. So you can charge this with these USB 2S LiPo adapters. I haven't tested these yet. Hopefully these are balanced charger and we can just plug it into this port here and uh, a green light will come on when it's all charged. So these are yes to be tested. So that's the current Bumblebee Skitty.